this is the high density espalier gardener and these are some additional uh, trees that I have in my tropical collection here on the uh, end I have what is called a red custard apple it got some damage from the uh, cold when they had um, freezing temperatures here and at that time I had not figured out how to uh, correctly keep the uh, trees from freezing. Um, I think I've solved that by the idea of purchasing some outdoor heaters. Um, I'm going to probably purchase maybe four or five of them and I'll place them in the middle here um, between the trees and to keep the area warm so that hopefully nothing freezes uh, for next year. Anyway, it had some damage, but as you can see, a lot of new shoots are coming out, so the tree definitely survived and it should be able to recover, growing quite nicely. This um, trees in this grouping um, are being trained to the branch, the um, wires, so this will be full espalier. As you can see here on my African Atamoya. African um, Pride, African Pride Atamoya. So I have two Atamoyas and two Cherry Moyas here. Here I have a Jefe um, Cherry Moya that's growing. It's all spalliated against the wires. Um, the it, it looks pretty bare right now, simply because. Uh, it was just the winter, it lost all the leaves, but all of them are budding and uh, everything should come back uh, quite nicely. I mean, there's a lot of uh, the shoots coming out and uh, several of them actually have the little fruit also coming out like that. And um, it's interesting to note that the, the um, insects that um, pollinate uh, these kinds of trees uh, actually don't exist in the United States and so um, the best way to actually get fruit from these is to hand pollinate and once the uh, blooms or the flowers are out I'll do a, a small updated video on how to do that anyway here next to my jefe I have another Atamoya, this one here, and this one is a um, Geffner, yeah, a Geffner Atamoya, growing up here along the wires, also spalliate, and then next to that I have an El Bumpo Cherimoya, but um, it's kind of a young younger tree but apparently the uh, cherimoyas and the atamoyas um, all get hand pollinated and so um, we're making sure to hand pollinate all of these um, I believe it's the same with the red custard apple but uh, we'll see the atamoyas are a, a cross between the um, uh, custard apples and the cherimoyas so this is a blend between this tree here and this tree here or this type of tree if you have any questions or comments please post them and I'll get back to you as soon as I can these are my Cherimoyas and Atamoyas and red custard apples.